What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today we have another haircut tutorial. This one is a major chop, so stay tuned. We're gonna go over some scissor work and fade work. So make sure to subscribe to the channel and stay tuned. Let's get into it. So my client did want to come in and chop off his hair. He was kind of sick of the long hair. He wanted to go more with the texture uh, short on the top. So what we're gonna do right now is just saturate the hair. And we're gonna comb it completely forward. And I'm just gonna take a division right down the middle of his head. And I'm just gonna start removing bulk and pulling the hair to the side and just doing some finger over scissors and just taking away that bulk since his hair is super long. Now after we did that, I'm gonna take a section from his frontal, I'm taking about an inch uh, from the, his hairline, and we're gonna comb that hair forward, and we're lining that up right on his hairline, because like I said, he wants something short, messy on top, so I took that first section, and after that, I'm gonna take another section right behind that, and I'm gonna keep going until all the hair uh, stops going past that hairline. Next, we're gonna resaturate the hair because you want to always make sure it's still uh, saturated. And now I'm gonna take two sections from you know about the width of his eyebrows, and now we're gonna start taking length off from the top. And what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna pull the hair up from the front, slant it towards the front so that it takes away all that bulkiness from the front, so it's not too heavy. And I'm gonna bring that up, and I'm gonna follow that whole guy line straight back. So now I'm gonna start taking horizontal sections and I'm gonna match from the short hair to the long hair. As you can see, I can see the short hair and I can see the long hair, I'm gonna cut all that. So when we first started, we did a vertical section straight down his head. Now what we're gonna do is start taking horizontal sections and meeting that horizontal section with the vertical section that we did earlier. And you can see and follow along as I'm doing it. Now I'm just gonna go over the whole head and just make sure everything's even. Now just to add a little bit of texture, I'm gonna go ahead and just do some slice cutting. And all I'm doing is moving the blade, the cutting blade with my thumb, and just going in diagonals, coming there forward and going the opposite direction. Now let's get into the fade work. I am using my one and a half guard with the lever completely closed. This is the Gamma Mythic Clipper. This is the new one that they just came out with. Heavy duty, made out of all metal. 
um, slowly becoming one of my favorite clippers. But we're gonna go all the way throughout the head like this, right below the parietal ridge, just to give us enough room later on, just to do a little bit clipper over comb. But I'll have the links down below if you guys do want to check out this clipper. It's a little bit more on the heavier side. It's kind of like the Wall 1990 uh, anniversary. So make sure to check them out if you are trying to look for a new clipper. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go with my Gamma Evo trimmers. And I'm going to start marking my line in, going from the bottom of his vertical bar, and we're going to slide all the way across. This is about a about just a mid fade, um, nothing too crazy, with a little bit drop in the back, but nothing too crazy, just to give us enough room to have a nice stretched out blend. Next, we're gonna bold them out, and as we get closer to that line, we're gonna start tapping it just to kind of blend in the line so it's not too harsh of a line. As you can see here, I'm tapping that line, and that's just gonna break it up a little bit so you have a nice, smoother transition. For everything below that, you can make sure to go get it nice and bold. Now we got no guard on the clipper, completely open, and we're gonna get uh, about an inch guideline, all right? And also, what I like about this Mythic is they have the fusion blade on here which makes it super easy and it's easy to go through the hair without going over too many paths. Next, we're gonna drop the lever down just one notch and we're gonna go right up to where that guideline that we made. Then we're gonna close it halfway, go up halfway through that guideline that we're creating. So now you're gonna be halfway of that full guideline that you made. And then now we're gonna close a little bit more, go up a slightly a little bit more about a quarter up of that guideline, and then we're gonna close all the way, and then we're gonna attack that very bottom guideline, and everything should be removed. So it's very easy. As you're closing the guideline, you're gonna be going not as up, but you still wanna push the fade up because that's how you get a transition, but just make sure you're staying within that guideline, all right? And you could just keep following along how I'm doing it here. Also comment down below if you guys are curious on having a more in-depth class where I could actually show you and break down every single thing that I do when I'm moving the lever. I know you can see what I'm doing on here, but I could also show you guys more of a visual. If you guys are interested in something like that, make sure to comment down below and uh, maybe we can work on something like that where I could actually go more in depth with you guys and break it down with you guys. Also make sure to hit the subscribe button if you guys have learned something new, truly appreciate it. We just hit over 50K subscribers. And if you guys did miss it, I did do a PS5 giveaway. If you catch this video early, you might still be able to enter. The video might still be live. But next, we're moving with our number one guard, completely open. And before, we had the one and a half guard, right? So now we're gonna fall right below that guy line that we still left right there that you could see, that harsh guy line that's above with the long hair. So we're staying right below that. And then we're gonna go ahead and close the lever down and soften up that bottom line. So I'll remove that bottom line, but it's just gonna soften it up so that we come with our half guard, it'll be a lot easier to fade out. Also notice that I'm not digging into the head, I'm just coming off of his head using the shape of his head to blend in.
next guard is going to be our half guard with a lever completely open and then we're going to go halfway and then we're going to go all the way closed since this is more of a fading guard and we're really trying to get detailed so like i said we start all the way open and as you can see the line is faintly there it's not completely gone so that's what this half guard is going to do now we're going to halfway close it and then we're going to completely close it and then it should fade out that line pretty much nicely you might have to go back over detail it use some corners as you can see that i'm doing but whenever i'm doing something more detailed like you know blending out the bold guy line or using this half guard i like to open and close the levers a little bit more precise so i'll go from you know completely open um halfway open and then completely close when i'm using like the number two guard or the one guard or the three guard i usually relatively like to go just blade open and then blade closed Alright, now that we have everything below faded in, now we're going to blend all that into the top and I'm using my Johnny Bravo comb right here. We're pushing up, scooping out a little bit and then just chopping off whatever is hanging over. Because what we did, we did the scissor work earlier, right, to get the hair on the side to the proper length. We create our guideline with the one and a half guard. Now we're going to come with, connect all that with our comb and we're pushing in and then scoop out a little bit and just cut off whatever's sticking out. If you guys are interested and do want to buy this comb, I'll have the link down below for you guys as well. All the links for everything will be down below. So at first I start off with the one and a half guard completely closed, but I noticed that I wasn't really cutting much. So I went back down to the one guard open and I started detailing. And if the one and a half guard, uh, one guard open wasn't really cutting, I would close down the lever and keep going until it would cut hair. Even sometimes you might have to go back to the half guard and start with the open just to get the, the line blended in nicely. Now moving on to the hairline, I'm just going clipper over comb on the front line just to debulk a little bit so I can get a nice crispy line. Even though it's really, really short, I want to just make sure everything's even and blend it in nice. And we're just going to start in the middle. His hairline's pretty much there, so we're just going to tap, tap, tap those little hairs and make sure it's even. And then that's about it. It's pretty simple. You can tell he already has a pretty squared hairline. I don't have to create too much of a hairline for him. After we have the lineup, we're gonna go ahead and just enhance his hairline a little bit just to fill in those lighter areas. My client did like it, so that's why I'm doing it. Some clients, I don't do it all the time, but like I said, it just takes the haircut to the next level, fills in those areas that aren't fully dark because not everyone has perfect hair. But anyway, so after that, we're gonna go ahead and use our straight razor. You can also find the links for these down below and we're just gonna hit this lineup where we create those lines, get it nice and sharp. Also, for, if you guys are wondering about the uh, enhancement I am using the 245 now we're just going to use our shears and just blend in make sure everything's nice and even no choppiness and this is going to help blend in nice and even and get those dark spots out as well this is a good way to finish out haircuts helps get a nice transition you could also find the links of these down below as well if you're, you're looking for some nice sharp and affordable uh, scissors but now after that we're going to go dust off my client get the canvas all nice and clean add a little bit uh, powder just add some texture in there and then also we're going to throw in some clay as well just just give it a final touch up and then that's going to be it for you guys youtube hope you guys enjoyed this video hope you guys learned something new uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel we're growing you know next goal is going to be 100k subscribers so i really appreciate it hope you guys enjoy this and go ahead and check out the transformation